One day very soon, a Pope Emeritus may be seen strolling the majestic Vatican Gardens, living in a residence just a few hundred yards from St. Peter's and the new Pope's offices. It's hard to imagine that in a country measuring just two-tenths of a square mile in area, with a population of about 800 people, that the old Pope and the new Pope, whoever he might be, would not eventually cross paths. Already people are starting to ask, is the Vatican big enough for two popes, no matter how retiring one might be? Benedict XVI himself, in fact, seems to be of two minds about exactly how much he'll stay in the background. When he handed in his letter of resignation, he said he'd live out his life hidden from the world and, quote, dedicate himself to a life of prayer. But at the same time, he told his fellow clergymen, I will always be close to all of you, and I'm sure all of you will be close to me. Still, Benedict, who once prayed at the tomb of a 13th century pope who resigned and was jailed by his successor, has plenty of more realistic reasons to refrain from any further active role in church leadership. For one thing, a pope who remained active could develop his own following, and that could lead to a split in the church. For another, the new pope, according to some, is going to have every interest in putting distance between himself and the leadership of Benedict XVI. Even while the adulation and praise for the Pope still echoed through St. Peter's Square, some Vatican observers were predicting that churchmen will soon prefer to forget the past eight years as a period when few of the church problems were resolved. One of those experts is the author of a new book entitled Crisis in the Vatican Empire, who says, what's more, that the Pope's resignation has done irreparable harm to future churchmen and their institution. There has been, in all these centuries, a culture of the forever, which I think was badly hit by this move of the Pope. Frankel calls this papal transition very disorienting for senior clergy, who he says now could be tempted to use the precedent of the Pope's resignation to attempt to pressure future Popes into stepping down. The collateral effects of this gesture of the Pope are still to come. We are just at the beginning of a story. We don't understand even why actually the Pope is resigned. So even as the Pope is helicoptering away to this splendid view from his temporary residence at Castel Gandolfo, he's leaving behind unresolved problems and unanswered questions, which may have lasting impact on his church. Jim Bitterman, CNN, the Vatican.